After spending three seasons with the Peterborough Peets, Matt Pumple decided this past summer that it was time to move on. Pumple requested a trade to the Kitchener Rangers. Former Peterborough GM Dave Reed arranged a deal with the Rangers and Pumple was on his way. Matt explains how difficult it was to approach Reed about his decision. You know, obviously the hardest thing in my career so far to do. Uh, you know, have so much respect for Dave Reed and, and the Peterborough Peets organization and, and to start my career off there and, and, you know, have so many great things happening while I was there. Um, you know, I still love that place and, and the city and enjoyed my time. But at the end of the day, it, it is a business and, um, you know, there's development part of the business that goes along with it. And, um, you know, I had to take the, my career into my own hands and, and, you know, find something new. And, um, you know, fortunately enough, I, I couldn't be, you know, happier of how things worked out and, and where we are at, at this date. Um, you know, but I have so much respect for, for Dave Reed and, um, you know, Mike Oak contacted me and, and Jody Hall also. And, you know, to hear from those guys after everything, you know, goes down really speaks for their character. And, and um, you know, it was really nice to hear from them because uh, we grew a great relationship while I was there and, um, you know, still keep in touch with, with those three guys to, to this day. Matt felt that it was important to his development as a player to move on to a different organization. You know, I think it's so hard to make the NHL and, and at my, you know, my situation in my career, um, where I'm at, uh, you know, I looked at other, you know, organizations that were giving players different opportunities and um, I think that was the biggest thing. I, I wanted to put myself in a, in a winning environment for, um, you know, hopefully my final year in the Ontario Hockey League. And, uh, it's such a great development league and, and to look at a, gr a, a group like Kitchener and, and how they develop their players in, in the last four or five years and the pros they produce is, is pretty remarkable and um, you know you can really tell firsthand being in the organization why those guys succeed and um, you know the everyday lifestyle is, is so um, you know it was a transition it, it was so uh, such a great organization from top to bottom and, and they treat the players with respect and it's been great. After some difficult times in Peterborough, Matt feels that there has been a return of the energy he had when he first arrived in Peterborough as a rookie a few seasons ago. You know, I, I feel re-energized almost. You know, there was a, a couple, um, you know, negatives that happened in Peterborough with an injury and, um, you know, a couple injuries and, and stuff like that. And, um, you know, obviously missing the playoffs a couple years, it, you know, guys get down on themselves. And it's, it's a tough sport to, to be involved with. you got to be positive. And, um, you know, to come over to an organization, like I said, and, and have so much opportunity at hand, it's, uh, it's been great. It's, it's been such a motivational, you know, season for myself. And, uh, you know, play with great players like this and great coaching, it really boosts you. And uh, you want to put your, forth your best effort every night, and, and that's what I realized the, the most. And what did Matt learn when he was able to play in the AHL at the end of last season? You know, it is a business. It, you learn it more and more. When I went to the American Hockey League last year, you really, you know, take a step back and see how, how well developed you have to be and, and how ready you have to be to, to make that step. It's uh, They're great leagues ahead of you. So that's what, um, you know, I'm trying to do each and every day is just become a, a professional and do things, um, you know, and Kitchener's helped me out great with that and, and just do things each day that, that are going to benefit me down the road and, um, you know, great decisions. And, and um, you know, fortunately this far, I, I don't regret anything and it, it's been a lot of fun. Despite moving on to the Rangers in the offseason, Matt describes what highlights he remembers about his time in Peterborough. Obviously being drafted at Peterborough 6th overall was a spectacular day and uh, you know, I think winning CHL Rookie of the Year was uh, pretty great for myself and, and uh, you know, a real accomplishment that I was really proud of and uh, you know, making the playoffs my first year and, and getting some experience there and um, like I said, it was, there's some good things that, a lot of good things that happened at Peterborough and, and uh, you know, it was a lot of fun and, and I enjoyed my time there. It appeared that the weight of the world was on Matt's shoulders at times last season, and he describes how it affects a young player such as himself. You know, I think from looking on the outside, uh, you know, a lot of the fans and a lot of the people looking at the situation don't necessarily understand, you know, what goes on in, in uh, you know, any Ontario hockey player's life each and every day. And uh, you know, it is a stressful business, and um, you know, hear, uh, you know, other people try to critique you and stuff like that, it gets frustrating. And, um, you know, I know that that happened at times in Peterborough when, you know, sitting out when injury and, and seeing fans yell at players and stuff like that. It's, it's a tough environment and, um, you know, like I said, hopefully that uh, Peterborough, um, you know, they have all the tools to be a great team and hopefully they will be um, down the road. But uh, at this point in my career, uh, you know, I'm not in the OHL forever, so I, I had to make a decision and, uh, you know, it's benefited myself. 